What's going on YouTube? War Delay you here, bringing you the Mafia 3 commentary, and this time I'm bringing you one with the Spaz 12, with the Silencer. Um, yeah, I know I'm crazy, but <laughs> on terminal at that, so. And this is actually a, a mob fail. I was one kill off the mob and the game ends. So, you know, that sucked, but you'll see. It's, it's actually flawless, too, so. Uh,. I do get a few kills with my my MP9 though, but you you pretty much have to because this game is so long. Uh, this map is such a big map, but using a shotgun like you have to be crazy to use a shotgun. Like you would die so many times just because you can't sit there and wait for everyone to come to you. I mean, they're gonna know you're there by if they're calling the UAV or they see you. But anyways, uh, I'll talk to you about uh, this is actually about the time it's. It's August, the beginning of August is about the time when they uh, they start leaking trailers of the and, and videos of the the next Call of Duty, and I wanted to know what you guys wanted from that from Black Ops 2 because uh, in a few more days we actually should be seeing some seeing some uh, some gameplay and some leaked footage from it. So uh, and and usually in the in like Mafia 3 and the Call the Call of Duty games before. The next one, they always leave like um, like a hint at what's in the next game. Like, for example, in this game, they left the quad rotor in the single player, which is supposed to be a new kill streak in Black Ops 2. So, you know, and they've also been talking about the multiplayer. I mean, the single player, how it's supposed to be really, really like uh, like fun. It's supposed to be completely innovated and and changed, where you can actually control anything on the battlefield. That sounds amazing to me. So I, I would really, I'm really looking forward to taking control of like a claw or a quad rotor, and just flying over the battlefield, just taking out people. That sounds like a ton of fun. So I'm looking forward to that. And black and zombies. That sounds like an entirely different game because they've gave its own campaign. Um, they've given its own campaign. Uh, they've added new. They've added like eight players to one game. You can play with eight, eight people now or something like that. So that's ridiculous, and it sounds like tons of fun. And they've this this game, it sounds like it should be three different games in all in one because it's like, it's like a Mass Effect, uh, a Left 4 Dead kind of, uh, and a Call of Duty game all in one. So it's it's amazing, and I suspect that since CDs can only carry so much so many gigabytes of of uh, space, I suspect it'd be kind of like Battlefield how there's so much stuff on it you have to download like massive patches when you install it. I mean when you run it for the first time. Because um, the CD can only handle so much, so you have to run it up in, over the internet. Um, partly on Battlefield, just because the maps are so big and there's so many guns and attachments and, and just so much crap on that game. And it's a fun game, don't get me wrong, but uh, there's just so much stuff to it that that they have to run it over the internet. And that that game runs flawlessly too. So I'm hoping that Black Ops 2 will run pretty pretty well too. Um, uh, and actually, we're we're really close to seeing some new new consoles come out. Like uh, I know the Yao, uh, I forget what it was called what it's called. It's the uh, the console that gives you free games. Like it's in the Android market or something like that, where you can make your own game for free and you don't have to run it through any like licensing or anything like that. And hackers can actually hack it. Like they don't they don't ban hackers for hacking. Um, maybe they'll get a few hackers off of Xbox Live and PS3. So. Hopefully that'll that'll do that. So I guess that's a good thing. I don't see anything wrong with it. But it is, and it's pretty cheap too. It's a ninety-nine dollar console for people who don't want to spend a whole lot of money buying games. Uh, if I had enough room on my setup for it, I'd probably get it eventually. But I don't think I'll get it just because I don't have any room for it with my my Xbox. But I'm definitely getting the Xbox Seven Twenty or whatever the heck it's going to be called. Four Eighty. I don't know. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that because it's going to cost a lot of money, but I think it's well worth it for a better, better gaming experience. And uh, and it'll be like because uh, these, these consoles are actually really old; they're like four or five years old or something like that. And they can run uh, games only this good. Like I don't understand like why why we've got consoles this old. And but the games look fine to me. I mean. Uh, they don't. They look about as good as any game I've seen on PC. But I don't play a lot of games on PC, so I, don't, I can't really vouch for that. So, 
Yeah, I mean, it, it can run Crisis 2, which is the best looking game in the, uh, in, in the world, I, I think, right now. Maybe Crisis 3 will look better. I'm, I'm, I hope it does. I mean, it's a brand new game. And Crisis 2 is like a year or two old already, so. Um, yeah, and I'm actually hoping that they'll have, like, uh, plenty of hard drive space, uh, a lot more RAM, because we definitely need a lot more RAM for more maps, and, because th that's the reason they said that they can't have more, like, gun packs, is because we don't have enough RAM. That's stupid. Because Battlefield can run fine. It's got them huge ass maps and so many different guns and attachments. It runs fine. Don't give me that bullshit, Treyarch. Or Infinity Ward, whoever. Whoever it was that said that. So don't give me that bullshit. You can do it. And, uh, I don't know why they don't make free gun packs. How hard is it to make a gun? Like, honestly. I mean, you'd have to, uh, you'd have to balance it, of course. But, I mean, that's, that's with anything. But the game's ending here. I'll see you guys next video. And, uh, that's about it. Comment, rate, and subscribe.